This is an erupting tooth, and it is beautiful because it demonstrates everything. First of all, once again, you can see the overlying squamous mucosa. Secondly, you can see a good degree of development in the alveolar bone. Thirdly, you can see a nice loose vascular pulp cavity of the tooth in which you can see basically sort of a loose, primitive looking connective tissue and a lot of blood vessels, which you see along here. But the beautiful thing, the really beautiful thing, is that an, even though this tooth has not quite erupted yet and is not projected above this surface mucosa, you can see two real dense lines here. The first line is quite purple. The second line is quite red. This is both very, very hard material. The purple line is enamel. The red line is cementum. The purple line is being produced by this beautiful array of amelial blasts just to the outside of it. This red line of dentin is being produced by this orderly array of odontoblasts just on the inside of it towards the pulp cavity. And I want to show you those two lines now, which we talked about before. I want to show you that uh, in the enamel, we can see lines extending into it, which are the tomes fibers. And in the dentin, we could see lines uh, extending into it between the odontoblasts and the dentin, which are called dentinal tubules. So let's, let's run this down real quick. Odontoblasts on the inside, uh, showing little fibers extending to the uh, dentin. Uh, right next to the enamel line, which is made by the ameloblasts on the outside, and these little lines here are called tomes, T-O-M-E-S, processes. So that's the part uh, that we did not see in the previous one on tooth development. And this may not be an embryo at all. This may just be a child, but most likely it's not even a human. But it's a beautiful, beautiful example of a, uh, a tooth that is about to erupt. And I thank you very much.